Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. I hope you guys are doing well, yeah? So let's dive into your pre-shuffle energies here. The first card that came out is, in fact, the Fool. And I heard, when this came out, I heard starting, uh, embarking on a new adventure, a new journey. Um, okay, and so as I was... Uh, that felt great and so then as i was uh you know looking for a little more clarity as to what this fool represents we have these four cards that came flying out of the deck <laughs> and it is none other than the three of swords the nine of swords the ten of wands and the page of wands all in reverse all right now um what i'm getting here is that for some of you all right this is uh, it's interesting because this phrase has been repeated in my head in some of these readings lately for this month. So it seems that a general theme for the month for a number of the different zodiac signs is relieving yourself of the burdens of an unrequited love situation or just an unrequited situation, something that was not balanced, something that was not reciprocal, okay? With the Three of Swords, it absolutely could have been a love situation, and that is kind of what I'm hearing, or at least what I heard just now, unrequited love situation, okay? But it doesn't have to be that. It could be anything that just wasn't balanced or reciprocal, anything that just was not, just was unrequited, okay? Um, but for the most part, I am feeling like this is love, especially since that is what I heard. Um, you're leaving the the heartbreak. You're basically kind of finally getting over the heartbreak and the anxiety and the burden. There was a tendency or a um, desire to or feelings of ob obligatory feelings or an obligation in continuing with whatever this connection was um remaining attached to this connection or whatever this situation was for you now uh, issues with attachment issues with 
um, releasing our part of the cancerian nature okay and i don't say that to offend anybody it really is part of you know the cancerian makeup if you are within that section or that if, if that resonates with you if you were in if you are if the planet that you know uh, in which cancer has a major major placement is put like for example in in eastern or hindu or vedic sidereal astrology my moon sign is in cancer but it's at 29 degrees cancer uh, uh, which is the like the very end of cancer and that is the ashlesha nakshatra um if you're not familiar with all of that i would recommend that you i would highly recommend spirit is saying that you um start to look into it but the nakshatras are basically 27 other constellations outside of the 12 main zodiac signs okay and these give deeper more clarifying characteristics aspects to the signs yes so ashlesha is the nakshatra of the naga or the serpent right um and that's where cancer and kind of leo also because this nakshatra kind of straddles cancer and leo but um that's where you know these some people can get uh uh have problems with attachment okay I have problems with like you know latching on and kind of like stifling you know that's kind of like a serpent uh, a serpent's kind of characteristic and i'm in that so i understand it okay so but there was a tendency to and it, it feels more like an obligation okay but there was a also we'll say it this way there was a feeling of an obligation to st remain attached to this situation for whatever reason that was but now that is finally being released and now with the page of wands energy here there is also a level of self-understanding that one that you may have come to uh, throughout this situation this also could represent the other person that you were connected to or connecting to you had this connection with that you felt like you needed you were obligated yeah spirit keeps saying this was an obligation you felt like you were obligated to stay remain connected to this to this individual or to whatever this represents for you but they were really immature okay it was a page of wands energy it's someone that was really i feel like very very selfish um very much into themselves what they wanted how they wanted it when they wanted it blah blah whatnot whatever th th those kind of things not really too caring about the concerns of other people and what i'm picking up on it's not just you that they weren't concerned about it was just anybody anybody around them they all they wanted was what they could get from someone that would please their ego very ego based with this page of wands energy but all of that is being released and removed and you have this new start okay overall energy you have the king of wands this could be you but i also feel like this could for some of you this could be someone else all right it's like you you've leveled up here i'll just go ahead and call you sierra for your <laughs> for your level up because you've gone from someone that was really immature a page of wands to a king of wands all right someone is someone who is much more much more secure much more mature has a better idea of what they truly want in life okay now also don't get me wrong this could be you it also could be leo energy yes but this also could be you i just feel strongly that for for many of you out there this is another person that is very interested in you and you actually may be very interested in them as well all right cancer so that's cool that's really cool. All right, so let me reset here for my cancer that wanted. No, it's not necessary. Okay, let me do just a reset shuffle and then we will get into the rest of your reading for the month of September. All right, here we go, cancer. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I've been having a little bit of an allergy issue lately, okay. Fall allergies are already starting and we're not even done with summer yet. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, we're giving this five shuffles. Um, I do want to point out that you might hear some music, maybe some voices in the background. I am recording this on a Saturday, so all you are hearing are my neighbors and my 
my roommates enjoying themselves, living their best lives here on this beautiful Saturday. So don't worry about it. Now consider yourselves lucky because all the rest of the zodiac signs, this is number three for you, Cancer. All the other zodiac signs, I was recording these during the week and they're doing construction across the street and man, did they get loud. So you guys got lucky because instead of construction noise, you get nice music. <laughs> all right. Um, Number four from a Cancerian sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. And five. I think that's five. <laughs> oh, well, we're ready. We're just going to get to it, whether it's number five or not. All right. Overall, hey, now. We've got the Four of Wands. And this, honestly, Cancer, this just feels like um, your solid your solid stability. I heard your solid background. Okay. Um, and what, they're, what they, I think what they mean, what it feels like they mean by your background is everything that you've experienced up until this point has really made you, provided you with a really solid spiritual, personal, creative foundation. And that's literally exactly what it was designed for. Okay, so excellent, Cancer. You, I, I, I feel like you've come to um, a checkpoint. All right, you're at a save. <laughs> you're at you're at a save spot. If you're a gamer, you know what I mean. Like you've gotten you've gotten to the checkpoint, and now you can save your game. Okay, and you can continue moving forward. And this feels like you have you're you're really set up very very well for whatever the future holds for you. Okay, underneath the four of wands, you do have the eight of swords though. That's pretty interesting. I just heard uh, uh, Ashlesha Nakshatra again. So okay, some of you that um. There are, still, there, are, there are still some elements. Oh, I get it. Okay, so this is also an element of the past. Um, so the things that you may have been through in the past have taken its toll, <laughs> have done a number on you. Um, and so now there are some mental confines that you're having to deal with that you're needing to work on letting yourself or freeing yourself from because to be quite honest, Cancer, it's only going to create more turmoil or trouble in the future. You have to keep in mind that everybody you meet is not like that asshole or, 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 or yeah, it's not like that, that poo face of an ex. You know what I mean? Like everybody is not your ex. All right. So, so going into a new situation with that mindset is really going to be very helpful for you. It doesn't mean that you should forget what happened in the past or allow the past to come creeping back in. If you see the red signs, all you got to do is just cut yourself, break your, cut yourself free from it. But living in a mindset where you're expecting someone to treat you the way someone in the past may have treated you is really only a, a huge detriment, detriment to yourself, let alone it be, it's unfair to yourself, but it's also unfair to the person that you're connecting with, okay? So that's what I'm seeing in this Eight of Swords energy. That's a little bit of a challenge for you at this point as you move forward in your life. Underneath the Eight of Swords, you do have justice. Well, that's pretty fantastic, Cancer. I just realized I did not turn my lights on, but I think we're okay. I'll leave it off for now. Underneath justice, you have... <laughs> Hell yeah, you have the Eight of Cups, all right? So you're definitely moving away from some things. And I do, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, even though, yes, you are moving away from some things, yes, justice is pretty much being served. I do wanna turn my light on. Justice is being served in you moving on, moving forward in life, gaining clarity um, and all that. There are still some elements of that past energy that are kind of maybe wreaking a little bit of havoc in your mind. All right, you have to let those things go. Try your best, do your, do your best to really focus on releasing in this period, whether it's for the month of September or for whenever this resonates for you, all right? Getting into the rest of your reading here, Cancer, first half, second half of the reading, you couldn't let, you can look at it as the first half, second half of your month. I recommend you look at it as the first half, second half of your reading because time is an illusion, energies are fluid, and these messages are going to be intertwining and interflowing with each other. But if it does resonate as first half, second half of the month, by all means, go for it, yeah? 
First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the lovers. Uh, this could be this could be Gemini energy. Um, this feels like an inner state of strong balance and union. All right. This is beautiful. And for some of you, this is absolutely translating into some sort of divine partnership, um, universal matchmaking, if you will, um, that is reflective of your own sense of inner union. Cancer, that's beautiful. I do feel like for some of you, there is a love, a much healthier, much more balanced love situation that is brewing for you, that is manifesting for you, all right? And that absolutely could be part of this justice that is coming forward for you. So in terms of having been through some really rough situations in the past, some really terrible, bad relationships, some uh, 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 trysts with narcissists and whatnot, it seems that you have come out on top, okay? And justice being served by something much more beneficial, much more healthy manifesting for you now. Okay? Definitely could be talking about twin flames if you resonate with that, but ultimately I'm seeing this as a divine partnership, right? Because you have a card of union here with 1111, so this is a twin flame union card with four of wands there, and then you have the lovers, which is part of divine partnership, okay? Spiritual union. The lovers is coupled with <laughs> the king of swords. There's a lot of air energy here. You have Libra, you have Gemini, and now you have Aquarius, okay? Um, here's the thing though, and this is where it's connecting with this eight of swords energy. I feel like some of you are aware of the fact that something in fact is uh, manifesting for you. Um, and you're trying to take a logical, balanced, diplomatic approach to it. It's like, okay, all right, universe, all right, spirit, all right, higher self, I see what's coming. Okay, but I'm going to stay as as logical about it as I can. I'm not going to let myself dive too deep into the emotions. Now, that is a good thing, but I do feel like for some of you, maybe this is or maybe this is just the person that you're connecting with. But I feel like some of you are taking this a little too far and could be sabotaging yourselves or at least blocking it. And that's where this eight of swords is connecting to that. All right. This is a challenge for the period for you right now. You have to let the past go. OK, if you're going to walk away from a situation, walk away from it completely. Do not allow anything, any sort of residuals to. I don't know, stay, you know what I mean? Don't let any sort of residual energy to like fester in there. Release all of it. Let it all go. All you need to hold on to are the lessons that you learned. That's it. OK, not everybody is your ex. <laughs> okay, second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the tower. I really do feel like some of you, uh, it's, cr it's cr interesting. I feel like there is an energy of, it is 11.11 as I am saying this right now, 11.11 um, a.m. And I'm kind of feeling an energy of twin flame situations. Some of you, now it's five, 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 five on the counter. Good Lord. Okay, there's a big change happening in terms of divine partnerships, divine unions, and twin flames. For some of you out there, you're leaving some sort of twin flame relationship behind you. It was strongly narcissistic in nature, whether that was you exhibiting some sort of narcissistic tendencies or it was the other person. Now, it could have been both of you, all right? But I do feel like one of you was dominant in the narcissistic traits, okay? But here you have the tower. And this tower feels like someone moving away, someone gaining the insight and the inspiration to understand, oh wow, this is not actually the twin flame relationship or just the relationship that I'm seeking or that I thought it was, okay? Now, also, why this King of Swords energy may be coming through here for you, Cancer, is because you're aware that whatever you feel manifesting kind of feels like the same sort of situation, but you're not going to allow yourself to act in ways or, or take actions the way you did in the past, in the last situation, okay? Which is a good thing. Why? Because that means you learned your lesson. Good on you. 
Just, I'm sorry. Um, I was just looking at the justice card. Yeah, justice is being served here, for sure. The scales are balancing out, okay? Uh, the tower is coupled with the page of pentacles. All right, Cancer. Look, from this tower moment, now you are starting anew. This is a fresh start, okay? With, I'm, I'm healing, I'm healing. Okay, well, yes, you're right, I am healing. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, but I'm hearing, I'm hearing that, oh shoot, now I lost it. Well, it was basically, um, you're starting anew, you're starting over, you're starting a new cycle with the, the lessons of the past deeply rooted, deeply ingrained. That is that Four of Wands energy. That is that stability you have now, spiritual stability, yes? Much more confident in yourself as a, 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 a spiritual being having a physical experience here. Beautiful, Cancer. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, you have the Three of Pentacles. Self-mastery, building yourself back up again, but working together, okay? A clear indication of how this new situation or any other situation that is manifesting um, after, as, after this, you know, period of time, after, you know, you coming out of this, whatever was in the past, a clear indication of how this situation is going to work is how the two of you cooperate with each other. Is there a sense of working together? I feel like for, for many of you, that is something that you need to focus on understanding right now. Is there a feeling of reciprocity in the sense that you two are really willing to work together? To be, te to be a team, you know? To understand each other, to build together. If the situation starts looking like it's one-sided, red flag, all right? So you gotta act accordingly. The challenge here is teamwork working together to build whatever it is you both want to build. Because I feel like some of you do have a partnership in the works in which you get along very well. You understand each other very well. You see eye to eye. Like you're, it's almost like you're two peas in a pod in, a, in, a, in some cases, you know what I mean? But if you guys aren't really willing to work together, then that's really not gonna go anywhere, is it? Okay, Three of Pentacles is coupled with <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Inspiration. And I'm really, uh, honestly, I'm getting, are you two willing to work together in what it is you're inspired to achieve, to create, to manifest? Okay. I just wanna, I wanna sit with that for a second. Just make sure there's nothing else coming through. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands here. But no, I think that's it. Okay, moving on. Your challenge, oh no, I'm sorry, your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have, ha <laughs> ha, there you are, the chariot. Moving forward strongly and confidently and in balance. I really do feel like you have absolutely learned a lot about what it is you truly want in life, okay? This, the, the, the energy of, um, the energies that I'm getting from the chariot here is very, very closely tied to the King of Wands energy that came out in your pre-shuffle, all right? The King of Wands is very focused, very passionate, um, and, and knows exactly what he or she wants, okay? And is not afraid to go after it. This chariot energy is like unstoppable. Like, no, like <laughs> once the, in, in, the individual has in this chariot card has made their decision and they've gotten balanced and they've got this, they've gotten themselves going, nothing is going to stop them. Beautiful, Cancer. The chariot is coupled with, ah, yes, the high priestess. So you are in fact divinely guided. I really do feel like many of you have come to the point where you are very, very much more confident in yourself and in your intuitive abilities, and you are much, much more confident and trusting in the universe. You're allowing the universe to guide you. This is you taking, your, taking steps, taking action steps derived from the downloads, the information that the universe, uh, your higher self, spirit, your intuition are feeding to you. And I really do feel like this is very strong trust and confidence in the universe, regardless of how that past situation may have ended. 
or turned out, okay? That's beautiful, Cancer. Getting into the second set, uh, to, the, to the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you got the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. This is satisfaction, but I really do feel like this is satisfaction in and of, and it's self-satisfaction. This doesn't feel like there are really any external elements that are giving you that satisfaction. I really feel like that this is very much internal. Okay, and that's beautiful. And that's where, and that's stemming from this union, this inner union, this inner balance, this deeper sense of inner wholeness, okay? Very happy with yourself, very happy with your life, with your possessions, with, you know, the, the direction that you're moving in in life. Excellent. The Nine of Cups is coupled with, holy shit, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and it's And it's funny because... Uh, what I was going to say with the Nine of Cups was that you being in this space right now, in this Nine of Cups energy, is absolutely leaving you wide open to get, to receive that which you truly desire, okay? You're literally one step away from the Ten of Cups. This feels so satisfactory that it's almost as if you are embodying your own sense of the Ten of Cups, like you are being your own Ten of Cups right now, which is great. The more you do that, the more of that you will realize or manifest in your external reality, okay? I mean, the Nine to the Ten of Cups, hello, yes please. <laughs> I love it, Cancer. I really love it. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, you have the world. Ah, beautiful. And it's this sense of satisfaction that is helping you move through and really complete close out these cycles. From there, you have the fool energy that came out in your pre-shuffle, all right? I do feel like you are kind of still Maybe this is the second half of your month, or maybe this is just the time period that you're in right now. I feel like you're still kind of in the process of closing, really closing some things out, okay? But it's not like you're, you're late. It's not like you're missing anything. This is all natural. This is all divine timing. And that's kind of where this Eight of Swords energy is still coming into play, still kind of plaguing you a little bit. There are still some residuals that you're having to clean out. All right, but you're almost there. Stay in this sense of satisfaction. Gratitude also with the Nine of Cups, okay? Gratitude is very important. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful especially for what you dealt with, what you've been through, because ultimately it has served to teach you, to make you a better person, a better version of yourself than you were in the past. And that, there is, that is always worth being grateful for, okay? The world is coupled with, okay, the five of wands, all right. Uh, there is still a little bit of internal conflict, just like I was picking up with this eight of swords energy here. And now also that could be some external conflict as well. You may be moving forward in a way that some other people really don't like. But you know what? That's, that's really not your problem, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you are very much on your path. You're in alignment. You're doing what is right for you. You're doing what's best for you. If that's moving you in a direction that other people are not fond of, well, then sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay. But also don't do this to yourself. Okay. Some of this inner conflict could just, could be just that. Maybe you're moving away from some people or some circumstances, some situations, and you're kind of conflicted about it, but it's like, you know what? I'm doing what's best for me. I'm taking a chance here and I'm just going to do it. Now, the world could symbolize travel. So maybe you're wanting to travel. Maybe to see this person that you're connecting with, but you're, there's some conflict there. You're not, there's some confusion. You're not quite sure how it's going to work out. You may not be sure this conflict, this confusion may be you not quite sure of how things are going to work out, how things are going to compress moving, uh, 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 progress moving forward. But the universe is like, um, honey, let me handle that. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. Strength. All right. More Leo energy, but you got to be strong. Okay. There is a need to kind of like tame the ego a little bit here. 
because that's kind of what I'm getting with this world and the Five of Wands. There could be some ego flares like, I don't know how this is going to work. This is never going to work. How uh, how on earth do you actually think this is going to come together? Like, 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 get out of fantasy land. No, 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 no. Actually, get out of your ego consciousness, okay, with strength. Strength is coupled with, yeah, the, wow, the magician. See, I told you, you have the ability to do this. The universe has your back, Cancer. So whatever it is you're moving towards, whatever this new cycle is for you, just let it flow. Do not let your ego work to sabotage you. You've come this far already. All right, nothing is gonna stop you, the chariot. Nothing is going to stop you but your own mind. Boop. <laughs> okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the Seven of Pentacles. The universe is asking you to remember what you have learned, all right? And also, this is a time of harvest for you. Now, we are in Virgo season as of the time that I'm recording this, okay? And so... Seven of Cup, Seven of Pentacles is very much a Virgo, a Virgo card, a Virgo energy. Is that it's that of harvest? It's time for you to harvest. It's time for you to receive the benefits of all the awesome work you've been doing. Okay, but also the big message with the Seven of Pentacles is, please do not forget where you have been. All right, the Seven of Pentacles also represents learning through contrast. So if you are moving in a new direction and leaving all the past icky, bullshit, narcissistic energy in the past, just keep in mind what it is you truly want versus everything that you've been through that showed you what you didn't want. And, re and maintain your faith in yourself and the universe that you are going to receive that which you truly desire, okay? should you take the correct action steps. And you, I feel like many of you do really know what steps to take now, how to nurture the seeds that you have sown to receive the harvest you desire. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, absolutely, the Ten of Swords. I mean, literally, it's exactly what I was just saying. Remember where you came from. Don't let it hold you back with this Eight of Swords energy. Instead, remember the contrast that you experienced. Allow that to drive you forward. Allow that to keep you in an energy of staying truthful to yourself and staying committed to that which you truly wish to harvest or manifest. All right, Cancer? So now let's close out your reading with your Oracle Guidance from the Sacred Rebels. One last shuffle for my Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go, Cancer. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for my Cancerians, for my Cancer fam. This one. Okay, card number four, against the grain. I feel like another sign got this. I don't remember which sign it was, but anyway. Oh, it might've been, it might've been Scorpio or Sagittarius. Huh. Okay, here we go against the grain. You want birds to be able to fly underwater. You want love to trump power. You want humanity to relate to each other as equals and to recognize the sacredness in you and in the world around you. You want to unleash the beauty that hides in even the ugliest scenes or sentiments. You want to make possible what others say cannot be. You are a radical dreamer, a sacred rebel, and you bring the light of a more positive future to this world. However, this can have its burdens. 
deep within you may feel that you deep within you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world perhaps your sense of how things can be and how they really are is so different to the smaller minds or more feel fearful hearts of many others that you are rarely received for all that you offer this might make you feel frustrated thwarted or lonely at times the universe so loves you for your unusual take on things, for the quirkiness in you that dares to honor that which is different and renders the impossible possible. You must never, ever lose your unusual ways and become dry, serious, appropriate, and conventional, not even for appearance's sake, for you would lose your essence. You are here to show that life is about so much more than conventional success. This oracle comes with a special message for you. You are someone who lives and breathes in the depths of creative waters. You need to lose yourself to the flow of music, nature, dreams, imagination, and fantasy through art and literature, meditation, dance, and in sensual surrender to the sacred waters of the ocean, the river, the lake, or the bathtub. You must go against the grain. It is your way. You are not one of the followers, but one of the agitators. However, yours is not a force of disrespectful chaos. You are a loving catalyst, and by simply being yourself, you constantly remind people that there is always another way. This oracle comes with the particular guidance that you are meant to be exactly as you are. You are meant to be the black sheep, the rainbow sheep, or even the wild wolf in the flock of sheep. The daring butterfly spirit calling to the caterpillars, that is you. The price you pay for the gift of individuality is that you must take care of it and guard it so that you are not dulled down and conditioned into playing at being something you are not. If this has happened or is threatening to happen, this oracle brings you comfort. You will always dream of birds that fly underwater. You know that the true nature of your being can never be changed. At most, it can only be hidden for a time. Now is the time to accept who you are and allow your truths to be freely expressed. Don't worry about the effects of going against the grain. When we are who we are in truth, we attract the support, protection, and energy that we need to thrive. Your power comes from aligning your outward self with your inner truth, not with the general consensus. You will then find other dreamers, other wild butterflies, and atypically colored sheep to join you in conjuring better versions for our world all right cancer so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope that was helpful for you um it, again if you would like to look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below but with that said i hope you guys have a great month and i look forward to connecting with you again for the month of october yeah take care Mwah! bye